The LAPD released this home surveillance video. You see the force the white Chevy Silverado has after it slammed into a smaller Ford Fusion. The truck shoves the Fusion from the intersection of San Pasquale and Pollard Street into the middle of the block, striking several other parked cars as it comes to a stop. Then the driver and passenger run from the crash. The white truck appeared to be traveling at excessive speed of maybe 70, 80, 90 miles per hour. That's Detective Jose De Leon. He says the crash happened just after one this morning here in Highland Park. Inside this Ford, two brothers just a half a block away from the apartment they share from their parents who weren't home at the time. We spoke to the woman who called 911. Well, that's the first thing I just heard my son scream and I just ran outside and, and I think in the video you can see like a little figure there and I just like dragged him inside because I just heard him screaming. I don't want to die. So that kind of dropped my heart. Devastation rippled through family and friends gathered in shock. The scene of the crash just outside their door. The young men were her only two children. He was so kind to his family and he was always there for everyone whenever we needed him. I loved him so much. We had planned a future together. He was my best friend. And please help us find the people who did this. It's not fair. The detective is hoping that surveillance video you saw and a standing reward of up to $50,000 will push someone to turn that driver in. A neighbor told us he's been worried about speeding drivers for years. My daughter wrote a report on it a couple of years ago about could we put speed bumps in the street. You know, that, that would solve that problem quick. But. But now, this family must bury two sons, one a CSUN graduate, another studying civil engineering at Cal State LA. Their lives ended at the hands of a driver police continue to search for. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.